Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are here in Goa and I'm going to be showing you guys the beautiful Fontenay's area here in Panjim City. I'm just going to do an update for August here, show you guys the streets, what it's like, what the weather is like and show you some of the beautiful new places that have opened up here. So let's check out this beautiful place here in Goa. Okay guys, so we are starting off from here in Panjim City. This is a beautiful creek over here, which is in the Fontenay's area, as I mentioned. So I'm just going to show you guys something which is brand new here so over there you have this new bridge which is called Gayan Setu which is exactly like a you know like the big bridges which are in Goa but this is a walking bridge uh, I'll do a proper full video of that very soon but I just wanted to give you guys an update on the weather show you guys how beautiful Panjim and Goa is right now uh, in the month of August so we are just going to walk down the streets over here and I'm going to give you guys a little view of the city. So over here, this is the famous Mary Immaculate Girls School. And on the left there, this is a famous institute here in Goa, which is called Stenedek Institute. They have been here for the last uh, 53 years, uh, since 1971. They have famous courses like fashion designing. They're one of Goa's biggest fashion schools. And yeah, so there is a beautiful street that side going towards uh, the Fontanes area but we are going to walk on a different road this side we are going to go into Fontanes but I'm going to show you guys what is there so as I was mentioning this institute they have like computer courses graphic designing uh, so many so many courses so if you are looking to get a course done you can check out this place so anyway we are going to go further down so there are many of these roads uh, here leading up to the Fontanes area. This particular bridge here is the Pato Walking Bridge. So there is something that I wanted to show you guys over here, which is very, very beautiful, which is new. Anyway, just to show you guys how beautiful the Pato footbridge is. Okay, let me just show you. So if you see, this is completely mosaic tiles. So it's very, very beautiful here. Uh, so this is something that is new here I, I don't know if you can see it properly but yeah this is called a mangrove walk okay and this is going to be opening very soon now a mangrove walk is basically those uh, trees there which is this plantation besides the creek here is a mangrove walk and you'll be able to walk through uh, that and you'll get some amazing photos so that is something new that's come up here in Panjim by the way, as you can see this, this is called a cobbler. This is very popular here among locals. A cobbler is what we use to catch crabs. So we put a little bit of chicken skin in that and put it in the river. And we tend to catch big crabs here. See this area here, if you see, it's a little coming out over here. This is because all the locals come here to do fishing in the evenings. So when I was small, I used to come to fish here. But just to show you the beautiful view and this area here right now. So let's get on to showing you the area here. So this is Soza's, there's a horseshoe restaurant here. This is a famous Goan restaurant. Uh, they have like authentic Goan Portuguese food. Yeah, then this is Soza's if you want to buy some clothes. So yeah guys, we're just going to take a nice little walk through the streets of Panjim. So this is Bina Panjani. This is a hair studio if you want to get your hair done while you're here. And you also have Route 66, which is a famous burger joint. So if you want to get like burgers, they have really, really good burgers. So well fits. This is another uh, boutique here. So we are going to go down the streets of Fontanes. I'm going to show you guys the cool places to check out when you're here. And also just to feel what Goa is like right now, as I mentioned. So guys, if you're new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button. I do a lot of videos here in Goa showing you some of the best places to check out. So I'm just going to show you a nice place here. This is called the Relax Inn Guest House. So just to show you how beautiful this is. So the Relax Inn Guest House is absolutely amazing. They also have a little cafe here. So if you want to have some Goan snacks, you can come here and have some Goan snacks here. So these are the prices. If you see, they're very, very... Uh, reasonable or uh, like 15 rupees onwards so if you want to try the goan uh, snacks you should try the prawn resource here which is really nice so, raw omelette is the local goan uh, traditional 
basically it's an omelet with shakuti gravy and it's only 70 rupees uh, so you can try these out as well so this is the place can i show it in yeah, yeah so this is the little cafe here so it's very nice so yeah you can come here and try it out guys and yeah very nice owner so sweet of him so a nice smile early morning so here yeah, this is uh, the houses that are here these are the portuguese houses very very beautiful uh on this side also there's a beautiful house here but one thing to be aware in this house is they don't like people to touch their walls and it is in all of these houses guys do not put your feet on the walls that ruin the place for the locals so the locals really get upset because you see here people put their feet on the wall in their houses and these are all private houses guys this is not a tourist like it, it is a tourist area but it's all private houses so yeah let's just walk around here i'm going to show you a few more interesting places here we'll walk around the street this is joseph bar here the legendary joseph bar which is like you know if you come to goa and you're coming solo and you have no friends just come here and good morning from how are you i say good yeah yeah so if you are you have no friends at all and you're here on a holiday just come here by the end of the night you will have friends from different different countries i can guarantee you so this is makutsu this is a nice japanese asian kind of dining restaurant uh we're just walking around so i just want to show you some of the new places that have opened up also here uh there is also uh antonio's there that is not new that has been there for quite a while but we'll just walk around and see i'm going to show you some new places which is on the other side of the road uh but here if you see antonio's which is very nice and colorful something nice about antonio's though is this colorful look at this look at the roof guys so you can get some crazy beautiful photos here so it goes all the way back to that side and you can walk straight that way and reach the reach the other side of the street wow so if you see all the houses have been painted now so they look very very beautiful uh this place is called mathias this is also like a hotel kind of guest house thing so you can uh, book this one as well if you are in the area you can check it out online there's elite lodge here this is a little cheaper option which is if you want to get elite lodge you can search on google this is like the traditional you know old time place this is prakash laundry this is like a laundry house that's been here for years so if you want to get your laundry done while you're in goa that's that's a nice place to get it done so yeah we're going to walk out here see how beautiful the house is so in august september most of the days are like this and in the nights you will get rain this is cafe morengo they have beautiful goan snacks so if you want to try try some goan snacks you should definitely come here and try it out just to show you guys the prices you can pause the video and you know exactly where you need it and yeah so beautiful day to day you know i always enjoy walking down the streets of andenesia because i'm also from this area in the sense i have a building here but i don't actually live here so this is orav's uh, guest house it's here from 1986 that's many years so you see this guest house here if you want uh, another guest house which is in this area this is another nice place to come to look at this house guys how beautiful is this pink color beautiful house so just to walk uh, down the streets here i'm just going to show you the new places mentioning then we'll show you markitos the guest house which is from here so over here there is a very new little uh, tea shop of course there is a traditional hair cutting salon if you want to cut your hair uh, foreigners would enjoy that because it's like the local local experience from the old days this is called cafe gold spot guys uh, unfortunately it's closed right now because i'm very early it's around 10 o'clock in the morning but if you see it's like this traditional uh, almost like a basically uh what is that bollywood kind of cafe theme and it's just a local place but it's very beautiful 
So here is Marquitos and we are walking down the street here. Let's take a look at the street. How beautiful is this guys? So beautiful. What a nice day. And we're just walking down through the streets and every street that you walk through, you'll find some magic on the other street around the corner. So we'll just go around the corner and I'll just show you how beautiful this area is. So here, look at the colors guys. So look at this, how amazing is this? So these are the main colorful street. This is where many of the reels are done here in Goa. So if you want to come here, you can check them out. See, as I was mentioning, you just go through every of these streets and you'll find some really nice places all around. So yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to go further and we'll check it out from the other street now. Okay, guys, so we are continuing over here and I'm showing you guys another street, which is here, the main street. Now you see these uh, windows here. These are the traditional Goan Portuguese windows. And if you see close up of these, these are actually shells, guys. So in the old days, they used to use these shells to make windows here. And it's absolutely beautiful architecture here. So now we are on the main street area. So there are two hubs, like you can go that side, which is, uh, if you go further down, that is an area called San Tome. Uh, most people confuse it with Fontanes, but it is actually called San Tome. And this area is Fontanes now that I'm entering this area. There's a beautiful cafe here, which is called Confeteria 31st Generio, which is the bakery here. So I've showed you guys in quite a few videos before, but let's just take a little quick look. So if you come to Little Presidency Supermarket here, you can come here and go to the little, see, look at this little cat. <laughs> he's not little, he's quite big. So this is the cafe here. So we'll just go around the street and show you guys from here. So this is the street. How beautiful is this? So this is the little cafe. It has all the Portuguese styles. And you guys have probably seen it before but i'm just going to go in and show you guys so to give you an update of what it looks like so that's francis the main man here and over there is the uh, 93 year old uh, oven which is there which makes all these amazing goan delicious snacks so it's the oldest bakery in goa not goa and oldest bakery in basically in panjim city so they have all these kind of snacks. So definitely should come here and try it out. That's the name over here. Now we are going to go and explore from behind the scenes of different areas. So this is also my friend's place. So, you know, I can walk in and shoot without asking. So uh, I'm going to show you like a magic trick. I've done it before, but yeah, see so you just go around the corner, which you would think would be absolutely nothing, but you just come around the corner here and suddenly we enter into another street so like that that's the magic about this area where every street has its own magical area and here you have a hospitaria guest house which is a beautiful guest house also this is very rustic very portuguese style so if you want to stay here you'll have a really really good time so yeah guys we're just going to walk the last bit of the street and show you a little bit more from here in Panjam city. So this is like a library come a hall here, but this is very popular for photo shoots. People come to do photo shoots here because of the wall color. And you actually get some amazing photos over here. So yeah, very beautiful place. I'm just going to show you guys one last thing from the end of the road. So if you come here, then you should know what to do. So just here on the right of this yellow place uh, there is a small uh, stall that comes here in this area which is uh, after five o'clock in the evening and they serve traditional goan snacks but guys be aware they also serve beef so if you don't eat beef uh, you know stay away from uh, the place so that is the Mary Immaculate. so we are back at the main area where we started from so yeah guys 
that is it from here in Fontanes. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are here in Goa and I'm going to be showing you guys the beautiful Fontanes area here in Panjim city. I'm just going to do an update for August here, show you guys the streets, what it's like, what the weather is like and show you some of the beautiful new places that have opened up here. So let's check out this beautiful place here in Goa. <laughs> 